Look, stop being nervous. He's not going to kill you. Look, I just don't want to upset him any further. I think he's overall dead. I think that's why he wanted you to come up tonight to be basking. No talk. And I didn't even expect that. I didn't even expect the invite to dinner. He wasn't getting out of it. Brittany wasn't letting him not invite you. But I told her not to force it. I think that's why he wanted you to come tonight so you guys can, you know, talk alone before everybody else met here. Well, at least you'll be here, right? Yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I heard the door. Hey, August, how are you? Scared as hell. Ignore his eyes. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming in with him tonight. Uh, thanks for everybody. Y'all hungry? I am. I am, but I'm gonna grab something at the hotel later on. Hotel? Yeah. I figured you guys gonna get some alone time. You know, brothers only sleep over. I'm gonna pack a bag. Really? <sighs> well, that's just us for the night. I, I, I guess so. Uh, come on, let me eat some meat. Oh, it's all set in the guest room. Yeah, he in there taking a shower. <clears throat> you could have told me you weren't staying the night. Now, what fun would that have been? Did you see my father when you had to go pick him up? No. Brittany said he would be in later on, so... He's probably here now, though. And what does she have to say? She's just still upset she can't make it, but... I get it. You know, that nursing program's tough. Yep. That's it. She only be missing no days to come down here for this. That just means you'll be taking control and making sure everything is in order. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So, uh, what you doing? Where you about to go? I'm planning on leaving. Uh, guess I can spare some dust. I knew you would say that. Hey, Brent. Mind if I join you? Not at all. So, I was surprised to hear from you. And even more, you asked me to come stay with you. Thank you for accepting the invite. After the way I treated you, I didn't think that you would. August, I, I owe you an apology. I should have never taken my anger or frustration. More like disappointment with my with our father out on you. You wasn't asked to be brought into this situation and whether I like it or not, this is our lives to me. Really appreciate you for apologizing, Brandon. It means a lot to me what you think of me. And you know, I just wanted to get to know my big brother, you know? And I apologize for the way I showed up at your house I had no idea you were going through all that stuff. And I completely understand your reaction now. I didn't want to cause you any more trouble, and I know that sounds naive, but I was desperate, so I took a chance. You definitely did, man. I'm glad you did. Really? Yeah, I mean, better late than never. Yeah, I guess so. So what now? Well, now we start over, if that's cool with you. I like that. Cool. <laughs> so, you excited about dinner? Excited to get it over with. <laughs> I can imagine. Have we even spoken to our father yet? Nope, and not looking forward to it. Well, at least you have some interference with us being there. Let's see how that works out. Well, isn't this nice? What's up? I was a little nervous to leave you two alone. J 
Jabril, you are fine. Were you really all good? You were talking. I will let him reach. Jabril, we're good. Okay. Take your word for it. Relax. I'm relaxed. Good. So make sure you stay that way. Got some errands wrong. I always think in. You can come see the titty a little bit. <laughs> Calm down. All right. Well, when you get finished, uh, put some clothes on. We can go. I'm actually finished right now. I have to dress. Really? You want to finish it? So, how was it? It was cool. We both apologized and came to an agreement to start over. He's a really cool guy. He just made me feel really bad about the way I was treating him. Well, I'm glad the two of you had a chance to talk. It's all over the for you. Yeah, it took some time. A lot of time. Whatever. But I'm happy for it too. Look, so I need you to go relax a little bit, get your mind right before these people arrive. August and I will be out of here for a couple of hours. So. I need to center myself. Yes, please do that. So we can keep the peace. At least in dinner, okay? Be coming. Fuck. Hey, Dad, I wasn't expecting you early in the morning. Hey, son. I figured, uh, you know, we could talk before dinner. That'll probably be best. Come on. So, you want to see the place? Yeah, sure, just just not this minute. I think we should talk first. Okay, Dad, let's talk. First, you know, I don't care how you feel about me, but you had no right to treat August that way. He hasn't done anything to you. No, he just showed up on my doorstep like he was welcome. Come on, Brandon, this has to stop. You know, grown or not, I am your father and you will respect me. Now look, look, I know. I messed up. But this, this little fit you're having, it has to stop. Whatever, Dad. Go ahead and say what you gotta say. Brandon, look, I, I want to apologize for how all this came out. You're, it was never my intention that you find out. So you didn't want us to find out at all? No, but that wasn't realistic. So why didn't you say anything? I couldn't find the right time. No time would have been the right time because it should have never happened in the don't first Don't you place. think I know that? You act like you don't know anything. Brandon, just, would you shut up for a minute? No. I'm not a child and I'm not going to just stand here and scold me about my reactions to your lies. Everything was a fucking lie. You a lie. Brandon. No. You had your turn to talk. I didn't want to go there with you, but now we're here. You tore up everything. When I thought about love and marriage, you and mom were the perfect example. Now everything is bullshit. You had a whole nother fucking family. School and basketball for real. I'm in the place of uh, figuring things out, you know? Sounds boring, but I mean, hell, boring. I see why you're running over here. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to know my son. So. Your mom's still screaming about you missing school. I took um, a leave for the majority of my classes, but it's only partial. I'm still taking some classes online. Mm, not cool. I'm sure all of this could have waited over here. <laughs> not you too, come on. <laughs> oh, I take it somebody else told you that's not such a good idea? Well, my mom found out after everything was done. Mm -hmm. 
but I have a plan to work out. All right, well, just want to pass your parents first. Yeah, I got it covered. It's going to take some convincing, but I'm confident. All right, let's get back to this damn house before your family gets here and clean up. It's, uh... Brandon, I know what I did was wrong. Trust me, I know. And I regretted it right after it happened. But then I found out she was pregnant. And I knew that however it came to be, it was a blessing. And I knew I had to do everything I could to protect my family, and my son, at all costs. Unfortunately, those two things conflicted with each other. This wasn't even supposed to happen. I already came to terms with everything. I know you had a slip. And nothing that you can say now can change what's happening now. I'd rather not hear the whole so dead recount of it all. Hey. It's gonna be hard for all of us. But we're family. You know, all I ask is that you keep a, an open mind about it. Hey, and if you have any anger, you direct that at me. August does not deserve it. I know, Dad. I didn't want to accept it at the beginning, but I know that I'm wrong for the way I was treating August. I apologized. And hopefully we can move on from it all. Hey, that's all I ask. Now, as far as us, I'm still hurt and disappointed by it. I just need some time to understand that you're not perfect and you're going to make mistakes. I just know that you did the best that you could in the situation you was in. I did try my best. Thank you for saying that. So, um, you still want to see the place? Sure. Let's go. <sighs> this is the living room, as you see. Upstairs. Ah, you must sleep. Sleep is the bag over here. Okay. Ah. I see that went well. It was good. Now, can you please go get yours? Please. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll get that. No, go ahead. Just, I got it. Go. All right. I'll be right back. Up. All right. So, how'd it go last night? Uh, things were good. Uh, me and Brandon talked and really cleared the air. Good. Uh, how about you guys talk? Hard at first. But you know, we got through it. Well, at least you guys are talking again. One day at a time. So we the night. Me's a bad one. Okay. Look who's here. What's your name? Hey, bathroom. Yeah, we're getting chill. What's up? <laughs> All right, now, I don't want to kick you up this time. There you go, starting shit. Hey, that's all he's good for. <laughs> Damn right. Come on, man, give me a <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. Can you guys just go into the living room and clean up in here, please? Come on, let's get out of this way. <laughs> All right, let me give you a hand. No, I got him. No, no, give us a chance to talk. All right, um, can you just start from another table, please? You got it. Go to the bathroom. 
So it's just me and you now. How was last night? Really? Honestly? See, I knew his ass acted a fool. What he do? You know I'm gonna check his ass. <laughs> no, honestly, I was gonna say it was really good. Oh, okay. Go on then. Well, it was a little tense at first, you know, well, at least I was. But remember I told you I was nervous? It was different this time. You know, we talked all night and watched TV and it was just a really good time. We bonded. Well, shit. I'm happy that worked out. So did you tell him you planning on moving? Ah, <sighs> come on, it's you. You still ain't telling your pop yet. No, I was supposed to tell everybody over dinner, but Brittany's not even here. She's supposed to have me break the ice. I got you back if you want to tell them that. But Negro, you grown. You need to get that work and school stuff figured out first. Your pop ain't gonna do that for you. Yeah, I know. No, you need to be thanking God no one knows your ass got kicked out of school. Come on, man, chill. I ain't saying nothing, but Negro, get it together. So, how are you guys doing? We're doing good. A lot better. So, is the therapy working? It is. I mean, I was against it at first. But, it's making us a lot stronger. You know, the Gwen and I, back when we were having a rough patch, you know, we ended up finding out a lot about one another. Yeah, he told me you guys tried it. But tell me, what was so bad that made you want the divorce in the first place? Honestly, I just, I just felt like we weren't meant to be. It was that bad. Yeah. I just felt like the marriage was, I guess, going to be some permanent fix to some things we hadn't addressed or dealt with. And then this whole drug thing happened and I just blamed myself. I felt like I didn't deserve him. Like I was just too toxic for him. You know, he didn't really talk to me about what was going on, but uh, he did talk to Gwen about it. And he did confide in her. And she always thought you two should stay together. And I'm not going to bullshit you. I mean, there were a few times I wanted to come up here and have words with you myself. I can imagine. I mean, I wish my folks were more like two of you. I mean, you guys always want me to feel accepted and welcome. Hey, you're grown now. You can lean on your folks. Mm. Nah, definitely not at all. Not like that. I don't think I'll ever get their full acceptance. But, you know, come to terms with it. Coming to terms with it is not a solution. <laughs> yeah, well, you know the pertinent backstory of the, the whole history. I'm tolerated at best, and that's because I'm an asset. Well, I just hope that you guys come to a, a real, meaningful connection. That's ideal. <laughs> Maybe one of these days. Hey, but whatever happens, it has to be something that you want. Whether it's family, Brandon, whatever. Yeah, I know. Good. <laughs> He's still not down here yet. Hell no. I know. <laughs> I get a drink or something? Oh, here we go. Baby, I'm not serving you. It's liquor and wine in the fridge. Well, damn. Uh, Worst host ever. <laughs> you want something, August? I'm good. I'll go. All right. Hey, what's up? You still not dressed? I just got out the shower. Okay, well, don't rush in. Now I shouldn't rush. Move. Uh, no fun. My dad's downstairs. So, this our house. Not happening. Who was that at the door? It was Benny. And him and my dad are getting along downstairs? 
They're cool. <sighs> we gonna see how long that lasts. So, two of you talk. talked, uh, we argued a little bit, and I let him know how hurt I still was. He apologized. I believe he was sincere. He just needs to understand that I need time to really forgive him. I mean, he knows he made a mistake. A mistake that he kept hitting for 20-something years. That's the only thing allowing me to move forward. Even though I know it was kind of difficult on him. Yes, I bet I can definitely relate to that. But now we have to just move forward and figure it out. Well, I'm proud of you. You're dealing with your issues and releasing them. And the whole thing with that was kind of weighing on you. So. Yeah, that was... I need to stress. I'm glad that's over with. Good. Now... Get your ass. I need to change this shirt. <sighs> oh, you tired of seeing your president act like a complete retard? Benny, not now. Are you still proud? Is America great again yet? I'm saying. American replacing the C with the three K's, if you can't tell. <laughs> Wait, Dad, you voted for Trump? Oh, you ain't no? <laughs> Pettyful, right? I know you're a Republican. I'm not. So why? Because they thought he would benefit their trucking companies. Dummies. Hey, I didn't like any of those other candidates either. But nigga, you shouldn't have voted then. So what? Then everybody can say it was my fault? Shit, it's done now. Yeah, well, we'll soon all be done fucking with that dickhead. So how do you feel about it now? I don't know. Like, there's nothing to be done. The way I feel now, it feels like I shouldn't have even voted. Huh. Yeah, that would have been better. But give the fucking vote to Hillary. Benny, you don't know shit about politics, so why don't you just shut the hell up? Maybe, but... So, what's going on down here? Oh, I was telling your dad about his president. Really, Uncle Benny, you want to start that now? Not touching that. He's childish, that's why. Well, fuck you. Can we do this another time? You're right. Act civil, Ben, brother. <laughs> yeah, right. Uncle Benny. Couldn't help it. <laughs> you didn't try either. <laughs> Uncle Benny, 
Uh, it's just straight. <laughs> yeah, it's almost straight. Hold on, I love you, babe. <laughs> Jim Brandon. Coming to my dinner. I wasn't going to have one, but I'm glad I did. <clears throat> oh, and thank you, Jabril, for taking control of the dinner. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> also, thank you for the advice, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming. I didn't think you was going to come after. All this happened. Yeah, and you know, once he moves over this way, hopefully he'll be closer. Move? Move where? Oh shit. Horace, oh, what is he talking about? Um, no, no, I'm just talking shit. You know, wishful thinking. Yeah, Dad, he's drunk. What are we talking about? Good. Because, you know, we've already had this discussion. You're not uprooting to move here. Nah, he's not. No, he is finishing school there. Yep. Yeah, but if he would have changed his mind, he's grown. No, 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 no. He is finishing school there. You know, Benny, can you not be a bad influence just for once? You're right. You're right. My apologies. Okay, moving on. <sighs> Come on. Let's get ready to go. All right, grab myself. <sighs> Brandon, can you walk me out? Okay. I'm gonna just sit here for a while. Let this liquor wear off. Oh, good idea. Let me clean up. Brian, have a safe trip. Come back and see us. You know I will make it happen. But the last thing I want to be doing on my day off is driving six hours to come up here. I definitely understand that. <laughs> come on, dude. Nice place. Y'all did good. Thank you. We're still fixing up stuff here and there, but it's coming along. But look, I don't want to butt in. But I just want you to make sure you're happy. What do you mean? I mean, I want you to make sure this is something that you both want. You know, therapy is not going to fix everything. Especially if you're forcing them to go. I want you to make sure that you both want it. We do want it. Does Jabril want it? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll leave it alone. I'm sure that you've thought it all through. Come. Have the same trip. I'll let you know when I get home. Okay. Tell uh, August I'm in the car. I will. Seriously? Damn, nigga, my bad. I fucked up. Yeah, what am I supposed to do now? I don't know, man, but you gotta figure out something soon. You're not gonna be able to keep this lie going much longer. Well, I actually just... August. He's waiting for you in the car. All right, all right. It's nice you. Yeah. And uh, Brian, thanks again for the invite. It was really nice talking to you. Me too. And you got my number, so hit me up anytime. All right, bro. All right. You know you're staying, right? What? Nah, I'll be good in an hour. You're not driving back to DC tonight. Wait till the morning. It's better safe than sorry. I ain't no youngin. I got this. Just stay. Alright, alright. All right. I'll stay. Thank you. You're welcome. See? Wasn't that bad. Nope, but I'm glad it's over with. Oh, I know you are. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping he's gonna stay here tonight. Probably best. Yeah. A lot. So, uh, how about you hurry up so you can give me some real birthday cake? Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. See what's this? 